So usually when I'm doing a job like this, I'll just pour it on there. And the idea is to put it on liberally, just like a like a like a like peanut like a like butter, you know, like butter, like margin. It's like you're when you're spreading it on a or jelly or a jelly or jam, and you're spreading it on a loaf of bread. It's not only faster to do it that way, but you're actually going to be able to work it into all the little nooks and crannies and crevices and cracks and going to get it right in there if you, if you put in the knots so but you, you still have to push it in with your applicator with your brush or with your roller you have to push it in there so as you're spreading it out that's what's going to give you that deep penetrating seat and it's not only going to penetrate into the wood but it's going to seal it it's going to seal the wood that's why I don't use any fillers. I don't use caulking. I don't use spackle. I don't use bondo. No fillers until after I put primer coats on or the base coat. That way, uh, it, it, the, 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 the filler won't pop out. And even if it does, you still won't, water won't be able to penetrate even if it pops out because uh, you got that sealer underneath it. The water won't absorb into the spackle or into the area where the pop the spackle pops out. But I don't use spackle anymore because it's too brittle. Spackle, bondo, all that stuff's too brittle. And wood is very wood is very unstable. So what they do is they have this elastic filler that has elasticity. Not just caulking, but it's there's various names for it. But they have this product that I used to use called Flexol. It's not Fixol. Fixol is like really rigid, like concrete. But Flexol is like a really rubbery kind of a real. You can bend, you can flex it after it dries, and it has great adhesion power. So, but there's probably new new products I haven't even heard of that are on the market now. But it's been over 20 years. I used to use this stuff.